Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how you can create charts within your reports. So on screen I've got a blank report. Currently it's pointing to um, the AdventureWorks data source and I've got a couple of data sets here. One that shows sales year to date by country and one that shows sales year to date by city. So generally these, um, I could create a table and put these pieces of data in it it will be a pretty dull report to look at with just a, a, a column of countries and a column of sales. So really, maybe add a chart to make it a little bit more interesting, a bit more easy to present. So <clears throat> let's first of all, well, let's 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 create the chart then based on the first data set. So if I right click here, we go to insert um, and we choose chart. Now we get, there's a lot of options here. And this is a, a, an early version of SSRS. There might be more options in, in later versions. Um, you can see all the little uh, uh, headers here. I don't really know why this option is on the left-hand side because if I select one, it doesn't change anything. It just moves your cursor to um, the actual line of the reports. But anyway, you can see there's lots and lots of options. And depending on the data you're presenting, some of these options fit better than others. Um, so initially, I'm going to choose a column chart so i select column and i click ok and we get a blank albeit it doesn't look blank but there's no data assigned to it at the minute it's just an empty chart now it's worth mentioning at this point that right now the chart is highlighted this kind of um uh, the board is highlighted there's a lot of elements of this chart so you've got these titles here at the bottom you've got the legend here you've got the type the, the uh header and then you've got the main body and then you can even kind of access these bits here so you've got to be careful when you kind of try to change or move or, or alter elements because you might actually have the wrong kind of elements um, selected before you start altering um, you know before you start making changes so just be wary of that um, all right let's add some data to our chart then so I've selected the chart on the right hand side we've got this chart data section uh, the value I want that in here is the sales year to date so if I click on the little plus here next to values it offers me a data source and then it offers me my um, data sets because I've got two data sets otherwise it will just offer me the columns but because I've got to do two data sets um, I've got to go via this kind of branch uh, to get to my columns so I want sales year to date and down here, if I click on the little plus, I want the country to be my group. And now if I preview that, let's have a look, see how it looks. All right, well, that's kind of the data that I want to see. Um, let's go back to design. Let's look at a couple of the design options. So this sales year to date, it isn't particularly informative. I mean, I could really just change this, um, this header here. I'm going to just call that sales year to date. And the legend here, we can get rid of the legend. We don't need the legend. And it will free up a bit more space for the actual report itself. So let's preview that again. Okay, that's a bit better. Um, obviously, this is just an element on the report. So if we click kind of away from the data, if we click on this bit here, we can then um, resize our report because we've got these handles that that are all the way on the edges, so we can make it a little bit bigger. So let's do that, and let's preview the data again. Okay, that, that's a little bit better. Um, we've got more options. We can make changes to, uh, well, if we click on here, and we click on Show Data Labels. So this is now going to show us the values that, that um, make up the data in this, in this chart. So if I click on Preview Now, we're now getting the values um, that each of these bars represents. And if I go back, um, we could right click one of these and we can we can change the properties, we can change the, the font, we can change um, kind of, you know, we can change the color, we can change the size, we can change the, the type, whether it's got decimal places, that sort of thing. So we can do all sorts of formats in here. Um, or actually maybe, oops. Maybe we don't want to show them, so let's just untick that. And um, we can change, we can you know change the, the the wording here. We can change the wording on this bit. We've got 
quite a few, um, I mean, a lot of options of formatting when it comes to these reports. So if I just preview it, preview it again, um, there's our information. Now let's imagine then um, we don't want that report to show the, the country in sales. We want it to show the city in sales. So we can we can do that. We can click in here. Um, if we right click now down here and we choose chat properties, we can change the, the the source of the data if you like. So instead of it being the data source, uh, the data set by country, we'll choose the data set by city. And we get this warning, yet it's going to, you know, uh, affect kind of how it is at the minute. We're going to have to make some changes. So we'll click yes, okay. And we'll click okay to that. So although this group here still says uh, country region name, that isn't actually available anymore because we're using a different data set. So if I click on the um, drop down, I want to change that to be city. Now let's preview that. Now then, there's a lot more cities compared to the countries. So this chart isn't particularly good for um, this particular set of data. So let's go back. Let's us now just quickly change this back to be the other data source. Yes. Okay. Um, and we'll revert back to what that was. Now let's create a new chart. And this time we're going to create a pie chart. Here we are. There's our pie chart. And again, uh, we're clicking it um, and we'll find the values. We're going to have to go through this same um, step, but we're going to go to the city and we're going to choose the sales year to date by city. And down here, we will choose the city as our group. So now let us do a quick preview of that. Okay, so it, it's a little. So let's resize it. Let's try and make this um, a little bit easier to see. So let's preview that again. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, now, as I showed you in the report above, you can remove the legend. So if I click on this legend here and I right click, I can delete that legend. And it just makes everything that little bit bigger. But now I've deleted the legend, I don't really have you know any any kind of point of reference it doesn't make any sense now as a, as a chart so if i go back to my chart um what if i'm doing here no so i need to so i need to click on the on the the chart away from this element so i'm going to click on this white space here so nothing selected other than the chart now right click and i should be able to add the legend click add new legend and there it is um and now we preview that again there's a legend um only a quick video introduction to charts um i hope it was helpful i hope it it um it made sense any comments any any feedback any questions please um leave them below and i'll, I'll reply um thanks so much for your time see you next time